Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I will continue to working on my project uh, authentication where you can log in from only one point so you never want to create a, a login system one more time. So before we continue I really hope you want to subscribe this channel so you can get uh, enough uh, know-how how to build the logins and you can subscribe to get a more about uh, me and of course you can hit the like button when you're finished with this video and remember all the code will be on the github and you can go in for my uh, docker hub profile and then you can try out uh, without do anything just download the image and spin it up in a container i have documentation ready which environments viable you should use and uh, sample here in the document uh, um, uh, docker samples you will have the sample for how you can build a stack. Thank you. So let's continue. In this video, I will uh, create the middleware. We have the middleware here to to uh, check about the token is correct or not. And for now, we basically don't do anything just to say authentication is correct. And that's we will stop for now because we will change it. And we will prepare for the next video about how you can uh, work with sessions. So you have a login and then you have um, a session in the same system. So when the user is logged in from, let's say, three different devices, then you need three different sessions keys bind for the account. So if the account is moving from one uh, internet connection to another one, then you don't miss the user. It's a very big issue if you use a session where you bind it for, for the IP address. So I'll not recommend this. I will recommend to have a secret key for the session and then generate some session ID out of that. But I will not explain it so much here. I will explain it for the next video. In this video, we'll concentrate about, uh, about the, the middleware to always uh, tell the user about is the token is correct or not. For working with the middleware, we need to import the authentication uh, library we have created. So library here and authentication, and we need to authentication uh, token. Then we scrolling down here for authentication token check, and uh, what we want to do here below the request, I need uh, then. The, this one and we need authentication token and should be none we need three more and we need to know about this the uh, authentication is going succeeds and then we need the session id the session id we don't we only have now so we can use it later we don't want to speak about this in this video i will coming this out and uh, then I will say uh, authentication token should be from the request and then we have a headers and then we need the, the token here that's the token we want to send inside and uh, we only want this if it's, uh, if it's in the request header else we want to return none and why we do this is because when you want to sign in we don't want to require the authentication so we don't need it so in, in this case we don't want to, to do anything and if you want to get a new session update the session confirm the login and everything else where we require you are logged in and have the token back then we need to reject you if you don't inside and that's why we build it here in the middleware because then we check everything we want about the authentication before we go in for the next layer so we say here if uh, it's not uh, it's not none then we're going inside here and we're locking so let's put this back and just uh, say we need to name it here middle middleware and the token uh, found in 
Let us try to verify. That's the console message. And down below here, we, whoops, we need to token verify. And we have the, this one, verify. And then we have the token. And the token is going from here. So that's everything is fine until now. And then we're going down and say if the token is verified, if it's verified to true and false, it's that's what we want to return. Uh, then we need to say logging and info and say the middleware token verified succeeds. And then we need a one more and say it's failed. And if we don't have a token here, I want to say that and we and say middleware token not found in headers. And then we need the authenticate succeeds. Of course, it's false here because we don't have the, any token, and here it's false too. Sorry, we don't need this one because we don't we don't have to check it. So we just send it back and say we don't have any success check here. So that's okay. And then we're going uh, up here where we are logged in, where it's true, and authentication token here. Just wait a little bit, and then we say true here. And then we need uh, the session ID. That's very important because we need it for later use. And we do the same here. Just let's just uh, copy this one and say session session ID session ID here. If you want to return none, and then we need the token. And if you follow my my previous video, you know we have one function called uh, authentication token, decode token. And what we're doing here is just taking the token and put it inside, and then we have the token. And it could be fine to test about this uh, work we've done here. It's, it's actually working. So let's go in for the account, um, the, the app, sorry, here, and uh, just add one more here. We just say the session. I'll uh, add the, the uh, uh, session here, flask session. I will add it here, uh, flask session, and then endpoint is equal to session get. And then we need to update and update here. And now you probably think why I have an endpoint here, because it's different from from a get and update up here. But when I'm starting to create this video, I'm of course testing my code so I can speak about what I'm doing and why I'm doing, and I can remove all the errors and minimize the errors as low as possible. And I figure out the the flask basically just take this one and add that to an endpoint and I don't like to go inside my function and say session update. So I have flask session and then session update. So I decide to add the endpoint here and we will do it of course on those uh, five functions too. But first I will I will just add this. So we go up here to the flask and say uh, add the session and class flask session. And then we need a static. The static should be update. And we need a get one too. And then we're going up here and session here. So this should be gone. Yeah. And then we can go up here and say endpoint. And the endpoints should be, in this case, should be account create and 
account update account sign in account sign out and then we have the token here token verify that's what we basically just doing here and I think that's it before we can go back to the session here and let's just checking a little function I just take this and we just uh, we only test the, the get function here so uh, from basin JSON import dumps and from flask import response that's what we only need for now and I will add 200 because it's fine and then we go in here so let's starting the application up and see everything is working and going for the postman in the postman I have the session here and you can see it's loading it's everything is okay and you can see the token is verified and everything is fine to demonstrate we have everything uh, I need to request of course uh, to demonstrate what we've done here and I will try to print this out and going for the postman and that should be inside here yes and you can see we have everything here about the information so I will copy this and just leave this tree and succeed and session ID see what happening now and you can see the the ID the token the, the session uh, the token here and the login and the session ID if I go back for postman and go for my headers and disable this one you will see none here so you can see my ID and the token the token is what we bind for the account so if the account is later want to decide to recreate the token then we can do some security here so now my now our middleware is working as it should be and we're ready for the next video where I will create uh, the session data and how we can uh, get the session, how we can create the session and how we can update the session data based on the user and when you're logged in. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget uh, to, to subscribe to this channel. You can do it in the right corner below, pressing the thing of course and remember this code will uh, link uh, on my uh, be put on my github and I will update uh, my docker when all the functionality uh, is it's updated as it's functional and then you can just download my image and test it out and if you have any questions please smash your comments and hit me up and give feedback and if you have some wishes about this and questions let me know and don't forget to remember to like this video and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and add this for your playlist. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.